I made a comment this morning on uh, social media and it made me think about something. I'm, I think I've touched on part of this once, but I don't know if I've, I've touched on it, all of it ever. So I'm going to hit this on my way to work real quick so I can send it to him and uh, he can apply it to his situation if he desires and other people can do the same thing. So basically what I told him was we're built to be eagles we're built to fly above the storm we're built to allow the storm to propel us up and over it so we can soar above it but too many times we surround ourselves with what we call chicken coop Christians they're just happy kicking around the dirt picking bugs out the dirt content and whatever uh, stepping in a poop and stuff like that so if we surround ourselves with chicken coop Christians we will never soar as the eagles we were created to be we'll never get up above the storm we'll ne the storm will never take and push us and propel us up above it so that we could soar in blue skies with the storm raging beneath us rather than be underneath it with it raging above us. Come on. There you go. So, that being said, then there's the deception of the clipped wing eagles. And by that I mean they look like eagles. They sound like eagles. They may even smell like eagles. But their mentality is of a chicken coop. They are not trying to soar above the storm. They're content on the ground. They're not trying to become better versions of themselves. They're not trying to grow and go into that all that in which they've been called to be and do and accomplish and become. They're happy, chilling on the ground, eating the bugs with the chicken coop Christians. And then that segue is right into this other part because the tabernacle had three parts. The Holy of Holies, the inner court and the outer court. Our lives are the same way. If we look at the life of Yeshua, he had the three. That was the Holy of Holies. Then he had the twelve. That was the inner court. And then he had everybody else. That was the outer court. The outer courts, your everyday people. People you may even know. But you're like, eee. You're, you're not on the same path I'm on. You're not of the same mentality. You're not of the same build. You're not cut from the same cloth I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and you can stay over there. And then the inner court are what you might consider your friends. They're more like-minded. They're, they're more um, ambitious concerning the same things you are. But maybe there's still things in their lives where they're not like right there. And then you got the Holy of Holies. Those are those are the brothers. Those are that's the brotherhood. That is the um, we think alike. We move alike. You're trying to get to there. Let me help you. I'm trying to get to here. Can you help me? Let. Let me build you up. Let me edify you. Let me strengthen you. You know what? Let me build you up. Let me edify you. Let me strengthen you. Iron sharpens iron. So when you have like-minded people, purpose-driven people behind you, around you, close to you, say, no, nah, see that storm in my life? I'm going to rise above it and I'm going to fly above it. 
a holy of holies eagle will say, well, let's go. Let's ride that, that airstream and let's get up there. Let's, let's handle this. A uh, intercorp person, they might even be an eagle. They just don't have the maturity to rise above that storm yet. But they'll, they'll tell you, you know what? You could do this. I believe in you. And then outer court, those are chicken coop Christians. Those are those are clipped wing eagles. They're like, nah, you can't do that. That storm's too big. Them clouds is too tall. That lightning is too spooky. Let's stay over here in the coop. At least it's dry. We get food all the time. We know what we're going to eat. We don't have to worry about anything. Whereas the eagle says, I wasn't made to just be hand fed. I was made to hunt. I was made to kill. I was made to do things that only eagles can do. And one of those is fly above this storm in my life. Two of those is provide for myself by any means necessary. I'm not talking about illicit things. I'm a man of God. I'm not talking about doing dumb stuff. I'm talking about trusting the God of creation who created you to be an eagle to help you not only A, fly above the storm, but B, put food on the table and a roof over the head of your family and your children if you are operating in what he has called you to operate in. And even if you don't see the fruit of that obedience now, maybe it's not a 30-fold so. Maybe it's a 60-fold so. Maybe it's a 100-fold so. So it's going to take longer to produce the fruit. From what I've come from, and this is a man who knows me from high school, way back in the day. The kind of person I used to be had to be put away for the person I was created to be, the man I've become. I obviously work for the Postal Service at this moment in time, but I own my own business. I'm finalizing 3D printer stuff, uh, camera stuff, drone stuff. I'm licensed with the FAA to do drone stuff have our own ministry that's where this video is going to go is on the ministry YouTube page nothing is impossible I have tattoos all over my body my neck I shouldn't be talking about God and glorifying God because it ain't got nothing to do with me it's got all to do with he but the question is are you going to let him do in your life what he wants to do with your life to bring him glory to further his kingdom because you take care of his business that he's assigned for you, he will take care of you and your business. So be an eagle. Don't let your wings get clipped. And don't be content in the chicken coop with poop all around your feet just because it's dry and you got food at a consistent basis. Lions don't always eat consistent or uh, on a schedule, but lions always eat. Be a lion.